Okay, um, thanks to Wilgu, I was able to get a default firmware uh, for 2.3.4 and for 4.0 to ice cream sandwich. Um, also, thanks to Skelton, um, we we're able to have the market and root access on the ice cream sandwich 4.0 ROM. Um, if you want to root the 2.34 uh, ROM, you can just use Easy Tools and select option 0. There is a whole tutorial um, on my uh, channel that you can use just to do the root part. Don't flash anything else. Don't change the kernel, though, because you can break your device. All right, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, how to basically boot into recovery and flash whichever firmware you want to use. First things first, I'm going to show you guys the 4.0 and then show you how to apply an update uh, to add the market and root it. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract the package that I have listed in the in the description and then you're going to go into the folder that says S5110 4.0 and you're going to copy the contents of this directory to the root of your SD card. Once it's copied to the root of your SD card, we're going to boot into recovery. Before we do that, I want to let you know that this is going to wipe everything off your internal flash. So you're not going to have the apps that ship with the actual uh, JXD, but in all actuality, you really don't want those. So, um, you know, do this if you don't mind losing what originally came with the JXD. Also, back up your external SD card just in case. Okay, now it's uh, time to boot into recovery and uh, flash the uh, 4.0 firmware. To do this, all you want to do is hold down the menu button and the power button and keep holding it until it says updating update.zip waiting. Bring this up a little closer and focus a little bit better, guys. and you'll see this what it'll do is it'll check it and then install the system it takes a little bit of time about two minutes so I'm going to speed up the video here uh, when it's done it'll reboot and it'll have you calibrate the screen and then you'll have to uh, change the language to whatever language you speak And here we are. We're at the uh, clean firmware um, ice cream sandwich 4.0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch back over to the computer side and boot into recovery one more time and root and install the market thanks to Skelton's uh, little update. Okay, now we're uh, booted back into Windows. Um, you need to bring up your external SD card in Windows Explorer or whatever you use. Get rid of the factory update param.aml, the uboot, the uimage, the uimage recovery, and the update.zip, and just delete them off of your external SD card. Then you're going to go into the folder named market and root in the package that I provided and copy the update.zip to the root of your external SD card. Now we're going to boot into recovery one more time and install the patch and we will have root and a working market. Okay, now it's time to install the uh, update.zip that installs root that uh, gives us root and installs the market. Once again, you press menu and the power button and wait for it to go green and say updating update.zip this one will give you a few errors but that's okay shouldn't be concerned with it okay and then you're going to go down to the second option it says apply update from SD card and then you're going to press the start button and then you're going to browse to your update.zip uh, on your external SD card 
It'll verify the update package and install it. Then you just have to go ahead and select Reboot System Now. And you're all set. Okay, now that the device is rebooted, go into your app drawer and you'll see Super User in the Play Store. You'll see that Super User works. And the Play Store comes up as well.